Depending on who you talk to in the EU or South Africa, CBS remains a key concern for the European Union. Their scientists worry about the disease and that it can take hold on their farms, while scientists in other parts of the world say that there's nothing to worry about. In late July, we heard that the EU authorities had intercepted two consignments that were contaminated with CBS. The two farmers that are involved on the two farms where the interceptions occurred, they are immediately deregistered. So in other words, those growers cannot send any fruit from those farms to the EU in the future. Um, so that's the immediate impact. Um, the, the longer term impact obviously is, is depending on, on how seriously the EU want to go about additional measures. According to the new EU directive, if the authorities there find more than five contaminated consignments, they could ban citrus imports from South Africa. This will have dire consequences. A ban would have in, in, incredible socio-economic impacts on the country. We, we employ up to 100,000 people, uh, 1.2 million dependents. Um, we, you know, the foreign exchange earnings are, are 8 billion or so a year. There are other consequences here because there are other agricultural sectors that could also be impacted. If the market, well, if Europe is no longer an option for South African uh, citrus, it could mean that other markets are flooded. So I think from an apple and pear perspective, we big in a far east, we, we, we export substantial volume into the Middle East. So this could lead to, um, to, to more fruit on the market, which could have a negative effect on the sales of apples and pears and on prices. So we are you know, we're watching in anticipation and we're hoping that uh, the guys sort it out. While the scientific debate continues, there's a growing concern that the small-scale farmers might be the biggest losers in this battle. Because as it stands right now, those small-scale farmers can't afford to send their consignments over into the EU on their own. They have to batch their material with those of the bigger farmers, and they don't know whether those bigger farmers are being compliant or not. I'm Angelo Coppola for CCTV in Pretoria.